Oh, see where this thing's leaking from, if I can find it. Kind of hard to tell. Well, there it goes. There it goes. Huh. Looks like it's above the pan. Huh. You know, it looks like it's where it's bolted into the... This bracket is bolted into the block. This is where it's leaking from. Not the pan itself. Now that's unusual. It shouldn't be leaking from there. Huh. Pan doesn't look, you see right? Right above it. Right above it. Right where that gray metal is attached to the, uh, you know, the darker metal. I don't know why it'd be leaking from there. It's not leaking from... That's your sending unit right there. It's not leaking from there. That's the housing. You can see right next to the filter. Gee, I don't know why that's leaking there, but that's where it's leaking from. Where was something wrong with the block itself? Who knows? That's weird. So, we found it. I don't know how to, what the hell kind of gasket goes in there, though. Maybe when I take that bracket off, uh, need some uh, Teflon on the bolts or something like that. I'm not sure. You should be able to see it. Anyway, and that's where it is. It's not the pan. It's not the uh, bracket that the oil filter housing goes attached to the engine. It's not the, um, what do you call it? It's not the sending unit that's screwed in. It's not that, the oil center unit. Somehow it's that housing that holds the air conditioner compressor, the bracket that holds the air conditioner compressor. Yeah, there might be a plug up above there. I'm looking at that. It looks like there's a plug up above there. I wonder if that's where it's leaking from. I guess I'll be able to see when I take it out. So it's not the oil pan gasket. You know what I was thinking was because I was thinking like it's now it's dripping onto where the oil pan is, but it wasn't starting there, so we got where it is basically coming from. So I guess if I take the alternator out, I'll see exactly about where it's coming from. That's one reason you want to clean the snot out of this engine. And you can see where the oil leak is coming from. But even as such, it's not that bad because I can go like at least a few hundred miles and um, not uh, have a problem. And actually my alternator is charging up now fine with uh, not to clean the snot out of it. Got all the oil out of it. So, who knows? Probably don't even need to change it. Yeah, once again, my alternator is charging just fine. So, it's probably all oil. See, it's nice and clean. The alternator is super clean now. I cleaned the snot out of it. It probably was all oil. That's why it started doing it again. But the oil that actually killed the alternator was coming from the top of the valve cover gasket, not from down there. So, I don't know what the deal is, why this is... Uh, Some kind of wreck, you know, there might be a plug in the engine that's actually um, where the oil leak is from. It probably just needs to come out and uh, put some um, Teflon tape on it and uh, screw it back in. That might be actually the problem. So, you know, it might not be nothing really severe, but it's difficult to get at. You can see there's not much room to work in here. But uh, I might not change this, I might not change it. It's easy for short trips.